You're yeah. here because you also took your career into your own hands and wrote screenplays. Yeah. And you wrote Rocky. And uh, very, yeah. Very famously held out. I think you were meeting with Erwin Winkler and Chardoff uh, on another movie. And, yes. Uh, a fellow that doesn't get much credit, his name was Gene Kirkwood. And Gene Kirkwood was a very glib individual. And he just happened to know everybody. He knew me and Bobby De Niro and Scorsese just out there. And he goes, yeah, 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 I know somebody. A cat's in a bag, bag's in a river. He's kind of like a John Garfield character. He goes, <laughs> I know somebody might, that you can connect to, yeah, yeah. I said, okay. You know. So I went in there he just, to meet as an actor. And you could tell when someone is fixated on their watch while you're there going, uh-huh. You know it's over. It's a, so they said, well, thanks for coming by. We don't know why you're here, but we're doing it as a favor. And I just blurted out, well, you know, I happened to write a little bit. And I did write, but I didn't, it wasn't exactly stellar. I hadn't sold anything. Actually, I did. I sold Paradise Alley for a hundred bucks to a friend of Jimmy Woods at the time. That's how far back I could go with Jimmy Woods. <laughs> and he goes, oh yeah, and they were just being very, very nice. I said, sure, well, if you've got anything, bring it back. I went, oh. So, all you need is a little crack in the opening of a door. It doesn't need to be swung wide open, but that opportunity, I went, finally. There's something there. Now I have nothing. What am I going to do? <laughs> it's like, hmm, why don't I take kind of, uh, maybe what, is go what I'm going through, a lot of people go through, which is not being realized for what they are in their own lives, or at least what they think they can be. You know, sometimes we're delusional and we think, oh, yeah, you know, I, I, I know I'm better than Kobe Bryant. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can sing better than Elvis. No, you can't. But, <laughs> but sometimes you actually do have some potential. And you go, okay, there's a chance to at least get an opportunity. And I thought, you know, a lot of people don't expect to be, you know, Gandhi. They don't expect to be some extraordinary revolutionary soul that's going to change the paradigm of the universe. But they can do better than they are doing. They just want to see, what, what is my full potential? And I thought, hmm. So there, that was the birth of Rocky. Then, coincidentally, there was this Rocky Marciano. He actually existed, so you had a, a five foot eight and a half heavyweight. So okay, that that guy sort of existed. And then I saw Chuck Wepner, who knocked down Al I went, this is just happening too fast. <laughs> there's something. There's, there's a message here, and that's when I went home and, and began to write poorly. I might add, uh, don't be afraid to be sloppy the first time out. Really, you know, the main thing is I believe in getting it done. Now, that doesn't apply to architecture. Uh -huh. It doesn't. Because <laughs> we've had those kind of guys, and uh -huh. the kitchen falls down. But it does apply to <laughs> creative endeavor. Yeah, the first time was a little goofy, but you, you, at least you have the format. You, you have the structure to work within. Yeah. And it's, you wrote it in three days. It's amazing. And just that, that classic story of I want to star in it, and that sounds like something out of a Hollywood movie, and it happened. Yeah. <laughs>